Good morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the committee for allowing us to present this work uh, in this uh, event. And today, I would like to talk about Uh, the work that uh, we've done in the uh, University of Indonesia regarding uh, our first uh, underground line uh, metro systems, uh, which is under uh, construction uh, at the moment. Uh, and this is the outline of my talk. It's going to be uh, some introductions, backgrounds, and uh, safe evacuation criteria for uh, stations, and the effect of uh, crowd near entrance and the exit discharge on the effective evacuation times. So first of all, I would like to show you the, the map of the, the countries. It's Indonesia is uh, more or less the same size like the United States of America, but we have uh, about 17,000 islands over there. So if you flew from the eastern part to, to the western part, it took more than five uh, hours of flights. And this is how we are located here. And this is the United States. Uh, we are now here. So it takes about 24 hours flight. <laughs> it's a long way. And this is uh, some introduction to our campus, University of Indonesia in Jakarta. It's a green campus. And we have also some uh, initiative in a green campus uh, metrics. So we have around 50,000 students. Six thousands of faculty members and we have actually founded since 1849 but we, the university is called as University of Indonesia since the independence 1950 and we also have uh, some engineering uh, fire safety engineering program over there and at the moment uh, we are currently having uh, a problem of like in other big cities of the world, the traffic congestions, because the city have um, about three million people more during the day, because it's, uh, uh, we uh, covered by uh, uh, the suburb area in which most of the, 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 the people stay there. So we have problems with uh, loss of energy during the transportations and of course we need to have uh, option of the transportations and the government have already introduced some of the uh, modes BRT, LRT and at the, at the moment we have start to develop the uh, underground systems. Why a uh, metro system is because it has high capacity and of course it, it separate uh, tracks with uh, the freight train and the uh, car so it will speed up uh, the movement of the peoples and this is the cities of the world who has, uh, which has the metro system. So mostly it's concentrated in Europe and also in some part of Asia. In America, there's also some cities have the metro systems underground. So why we bother with the fire safety concern? This is uh, a picture from the Moscow Metro Fire in, on the June 5th, 2000, uh, 2013. So as you can see, there's some uh, congestions in the uh, ticket gates and also in the uh, exit discharge. So far, we all of, uh, usually assume that there is no uh, obstruction in the exit discharge. But in, in, in the real world, the situation is like this. So we uh, uh, try to uh, simulate and this work as two parts. The fire uh, engineering part will be presented with my colleagues. Uh, this afternoon. The bottom line is how to provide the uh, attainable environment for the operator and the occupants to
to uh, leave the space safely or the assets will be greater than the uh, asset. In this work, we use uh, the Pathfinder's uh, models, programs, but in the world, there are some uh, other uh, modeling tools, as you may, uh, I believe you have known uh, well about this. And why we uh, take the underground uh, metro station as the, uh, our study, because uh, the, the, the station building is usually uh, large enough, it's about 2,000 meters long, and it's connected with other premises, and then the, the population use this uh, mode of transportation will be varied from uh, school uh, uh, children and up to the, uh, the elderly. And then for the safe evacuation criteria, uh, uh, as we concern that there is uh, at least two in uh, or more than that, that the safe criteria for according to NFPA 130 is that this will be uh, at least minimum four minutes from the uh, platform level that all the occupants or the passengers should uh, reach the uh, concourse level and six minutes for the completion of the evacuation. But uh, in a Japanese a code, it's like a performance base. Uh, the uh, density uh, during the evacuation should be uh, less than the permissible smoke density. So the, uh, the modeling of the smoke uh, control system will be uh, very important uh, for this uh, approach. So uh, the first line will be designed according to uh, the performance base and uh, Japanese code. Although in some extents we, we need to have uh, prescriptive code, for example, the fireman access. Because in Japanese code, there's not uh, uh, compulsory to have a, uh, access for uh, the uh, uh, fireman. So this is the 3D station design. So we uh, select uh, one of the most uh, possible crowded uh, conditions because these locations is lo located uh, very close to the main uh, football stadium. So the uh, access in the concourse level also will be used for the uh, people to across the, the, the main road over here. So it has three level, the concourse level, the, 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 uh, the platform level and the uh, street level. So it has three uh, stairs there and then uh, two uh, fireman access, which is not considered in the simulation. And this is the distribution of the occupants. So because uh, this station is located in the main business road, so there will be mostly the male and female uh, occupants there and less elderly and children uh, during the uh, D-Day. So one of the most important uh, consideration is the number of passengers. Uh, here we, we simulate a four condition, 100% uh, of car capacity, uh, more than uh, 1,200 people over there, and then 175% car capacity, and the most uh, uh, congested condition is 275% uh, of car capacity when there is a delay in the, the, the coming train and then also uh, during the, the evacuation there are, there are two uh, trains set in the station at the same time. So uh, from the previous uh, this talk we uh, understand that the, the, the walking speed of the uh, people will be uh, uh, affected by the density. Although uh, at the same level, say less than 0.5% uh, per square feet, there's no uh, effect of the speed of the people. So when we, uh, we uh, do the, 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 the simulation and plot the result, you can see here, uh, actually the additional number of people will 
uh, extend the evacuation time is almost linearly uh, uh, increased like this. And then when we uh, see the result of the uh, time to reach the concourse level and the ground level, again, this is uh, more or less is like a linear uh, correlations. But when we uh, see these pictures and other pictures uh, from the work of Katabira, Katabira uh, in Japan, there is a located a congested area, usually near the uh, uh, gates, uh, ticket gates, and also near the uh, access to the platform, usually in uh, this uh, cornered area. And from the picture of the Moscow fire, metro fire, you can see that once the people uh, reach the ground level, usually they will uh, slow, slow down a little bit. And we also uh, found this uh, phenomenon during a school uh, evacuation drill. So we did some work for about three years ago. Uh, we conduct a fire ev uh, evacuation uh, with uh, 12,000, uh, 1,200 uh, of people in the schools. And usually, once they reach the ground level, they will slow down. And did, so to, to, see, uh, to study this effect, we create, say, a uh, four scenario. The first scenario, there's, there, there's no crowd situation near the exits at ground level. And we put uh, the second scenario at about 10 uh, person standing there just to see what, ha what is happening. Sometimes been like that. And then this, the third scenario, we, uh, there is 20 person and the last scenario, 30 uh, person standing in an area of about uh, 10 uh, square meter. So when uh, we do the simulation, we can see some uh, congested area. This is for normal situations. Uh, the congested area will be located near the stairs, but if we uh, see, uh, this is some, yeah, you can see that here the, the, the people start to move. And if we uh, say, uh, sorry, ah, yeah. we speed up to uh, see at four uh, minutes, say here. So not all the peop uh, people will uh, reach the concourse level due to the congestion in the exit discharge. How about six minutes, according to the NFPA codes? Again, there's some people there. So uh, from these uh, simulations, we can uh, plot this uh, result. So without any congestion in the exits, the, the, the time is uh, <coughs> still in, uh, within the, 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 uh, the safe time. But then if there is a, a, a congested due to the uh, people start to slow down their walk or just stand to see what is happening, the time will be uh, lengthened. And when we plot that into the same uh, bar chart, you can see that there is no effect uh, for, the, for the time for, for people to move from the platform level to the Congress level but it will uh, actually extend, uh, lengthening the, 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 the time for people to move from the concourse level to the uh, uh, street level. And even for the, the most dense conditions, people will stuck in the, 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 the stairs. So uh, why it is important? So we can draw some conclusion here that the modeling of the evacuation process of a typical uh, island-type underground meters has been carried out. A number of people is uh, 
ferries and we can see uh, some congested uh, area and then although the evacuation times of for the evacuation uh, from the platform to the point of safety at the concourse are not affected but the results suggest that a great attention should be put uh, on securing the smooth movement uh, for the evacuees uh, to reach the assembly area close to the exit discharge so the the most important uh, message is that uh, for the uh, station operators they also need to put attention not only in within the premises of the stations but also uh, at the ground level say we consider about 50 meters from the exit should be clear from any crowds because the area should be at least the same as the platform uh, uh, area for each station so this is the end of the presentation and i would like to thank uh, thunderhead engineering for providing the uh, academic license for for this work and uh, some click from jakarta mrt uh, for great discussion during the preparation of this work thank you very much thank you we have some questions for the speaker Very interesting. But did, did you you mentioned the three models? Uh, did you use all three? Uh, does this relate purely to the Pathfinder? Only the Pathfinder. But did you use the other two models as well in your analysis, or, or FDS, CVAC, or? No, at the moment we, we, we just use the Pathfinder. Oh, okay. But uh, maybe uh, later we can also uh, add some studies and related uh, the studies with the outcomes of the fire uh, scenario and uh, smoke. Just have one uh, you picked uh, the 10 meter, 20 meter, and 30 meter distance. Uh, sorry, 10, 20, and 30 people. Yeah. And how far away from the, they were they from the uh, the discharge? About two, three meters from the discharge. Uh, what I was going to ask was, uh, why did you pick that distance? Was it from observation or from the observation, and then also from these crowds there? <laughs> Any other questions before break? No? Okay, good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.